If you like my videos, please check out my website at creationsciencefiction.com. You'll find articles on creationism there, as well as my blog. I also have a Creation Science Fiction Facebook page now, too. What on earth is really going on at Kent Hovind's Dinosaur Adventureland in Repton, Alabama? Somebody sent me a link to a conversation on Facebook, and I want to show it to you here. If you are one that goes down to Double Bridges Creek, please be very careful. When I arrived at Double Bridges, there was three guys there smoking weed this afternoon. When they were asked where they were from, they replied with America. When asked where in America they were from, all they would say is America. One guy said the one telling us America was or had a bad and long day. When asked where did they live, the one guy that was talking says they lived in Repton. When asked where in Repton did they live, he replied on Pearl Lane. So those three guys left and one of the girls with us said there was probably no Pearl Lane in Repton. I said they could be with the group that is with Dinosaurs Adventures. I googled it and Dinosaur Adventures is on Pearl Lane, Repton. Then two different guys showed up down at the double bridges and they asked about where to catch catfish. We asked them if they were with Dinosaurs Adventures and they said yes they were. I told them that I heard this place is a cult and one guy got upset. One of the guys had a big tall boy beer drinking it. They said they are a religious group spreading the word of God. But if you're spreading the word of God, why was one of the guys drinking beer and the other one was a butthole to us and they were smoking weed and neither of the last two could quote the Bible anywhere in the great book? One of the guys said the girls down at the creek were at their place every day. Her name is, and I'm not sure what her sister's name is. When I asked her about going there, she laughed and said, every day, well, if she comes up missing, go to the Dinosaur Adventures, 488 Pearl Lane, Repton, Alabama. She doesn't know any better. Someone needs to tell her about how these people really are. If I see her again today, I'll do my best to tell her what I have found. They probably by now have brainwashed her into believing in what they want her to believe. This guy, Dr. Dino Kent Hoven, has a YouTube account he's always posting to. Had a post on his YouTube last night that was weird. Let's not forget about the girls screaming in the woods. That crap was scary. I'd report it and stay away from there. These people are up to no good. Hold up, girl screaming? That's what I read in the previous post as well. That's why I started wondering about Mrs. So-and-so that disappeared. If that's the case, report this in the morning. I would not go looking for trouble. Maybe more than y'all bargained for. These guys were watching these four teenage girls that were with us, plus two other young girls. When I see this happening, I have to say something. Just not right a grown-ass men looking at these girls the way they were. Kent has repeatedly advertised that he wants to bring in some girls for his dozen or so single men. Yes, by the way, we need some single women to come down, help us out for a few days, we'll fix you up some of our single... How many single guys we got here now, anyway? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight! <clears throat> Y'all better stay away from over there. He'll have y'all added to the harem. He'll have to wear dresses every day. Nope, y'all stay away, lol. Heck no! That man had gave me the heebie-jeebies since the first time he walked in. Yeah, he's a strange one for real. Those freaking weirdos. We'll have to always be sure we take protection when we go. And there's Sean, waiting for the perfect woman. <laughs> How many guys, single guys, do we have here? We gotta get some girls down here. Man. Huh? <laughs> Zoom in. Zoom in and show him and we'll see why. Is that what you're saying? Huh? Advertise. Uh, we have each of the single guys with a little sign for sale. Okay. 